This is crazy. Outrageous. This is nuts. Every time we try to get close, someone makes an untimed entrance. Well, that's what makes it so exciting, isn't it, Ted? Well, this is the kind of excitement that I can do without. It's like someone's trying to tell us a message. I feel one coming on, so hold on to your circuit breakers. What are you doing? Whatever the law allows. And then some. All right, well, you see, the thing is, I came over here to tell you that you, Katrina, and I have become engaged, and, and we set a date. And that's the reason I came over to tell you. Congratulations. But, thank you. So, what do you give a bridegroom who has everything? I know. No, no, I'm... No. no. Resisting arrest is a misdemeanor. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Angela? Uh, all right, okay, okay. That's, that's very funny. What the hell are you doing? What's the matter, Teddy? I thought you liked playing games. Oh, I, yeah, I a great time. Okay. Who I don't get it. Why are you doing this? You betrayed me. And after I've been so good to you. Well, what did I do? Are you going to keep me guessing all day long? You tipped the police that I gave the go-ahead for the slaughterhouse demolition. Do you know what that makes you? <laughs> I don't know, a hero? <laughs> I believe the Romans had a word for it. Rattus Finkus. Okay. Well, that depends on your translation, Missy, because if you ask Cruz and Jody, I'm sure they'd call me a lifesaver. You called the cops on me, Ted. Oh, well, what am I supposed to do? Hmm? I acted with the best of intentions. Oh. Well, we all know how the road to hell is paved. <laughs> Are you just going to keep me manacled up here till I repent, huh? Or scream for mercy. Whichever comes first. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? To shower. While I'm at it, why don't you give some thought to your punishment? As long as it fits the crime. I got to get a message to control. I've been here, you know, for a long time. I'm at the Triplex building, you know, and, uh, the, yeah, the water. They have this, this, this waterfall in the lobby. They just put it in. It looks portable or something. I don't know, but... Yeah, it's kind of noisy. I can hardly hear you. Well, I've been worried about you. You just disappeared. How are the meetings? When are you coming home? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I uh, see. Actually, I think I'm going to be tied up for the rest of the day. Your father's having a party tonight. He is. Uh... I, I, I really, I really don't think I'm going to be able to get loose today. God, you are difficult. All right, why don't I drive down and meet you for late supper? That way, at least we can spend the night together. Yeah, I, I, I would love that. I, I, but, uh, I, I really don't think I'm going to be able to, to, to get out of what I'm in, uh, anytime, anytime soon, because I'm, I'm really busy. Katrina, look. As soon as I get home, I'll call you. I promise, baby, okay? When will that be? All right, well, just, just as soon as I get home, okay? Bye. Bye. Oh, how very sweet. Ted's in a jam. He goes running to his little Fraulein. Oh, she's not my little Fraulein. Oh, call her anything you like, then. The good girl, the girl next door, the one you go running to to get a kiss and make it better. Is she gonna come save you from the big bad mama? You just don't understand. I would not do that to her. She's very trusting. Very trusting. Not like you. <laughs> no. If she was like me, you wouldn't come sneaking through my back door to get what you can't have at home. But then I'm just good for the odd craving, the occasional midnight snack, not as a steady diet. Right, Ted? 
I have never lied to you about my relationship with Katrina. She is the one that I love, the only one. You got that? I don't believe I ever asked for your undying devotion, did I? You know, I overheard Warren talking to you. He said uh, that you always want what you can't have, and that led me to, to, to think that, you know, maybe that's why you're so attracted to me. Now think about it. That is why you're so attracted to me, because I am completely unattainable to you. <laughs> well, if, if this is the home version of playing hard to get, I guess charades are a thing of the past. I've struck a nerve. I've struck a nerve. If Katrina were out of the picture, I'd be yesterday's news. Tell me something, Ted. Do you want me to leave you alone? Well, there is nothing that I would like more. And your wish is my command. Good. Good. So what's the catch? Well, I just want to do the right thing. I mean, that is your be-all and end-all, isn't it? You get a merit badge for turning me into the police, another one for sticking by Katrina, high priestess of purity and goodness. But then you're no Boy Scout yourself, are you, Ted? Well, never said I was perfect. Give the man another badge for modesty. No, no, no. But just give me a little bit of credit for knowing what I want. Katrina is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I don't want to do anything that's going to threaten that, okay? I don't think you know what you want, Ted. Maybe you should go on a retreat and figure it out. So you're just going to leave me here like this? What? What? Come on. Just long enough for you to... Come to your senses and understand what you really have. I think you should keep in mind, though, you need someone who can fully appreciate your range of needs and talents. What? Go ahead. Reach out. Reach out, touch. Oh, my God. Bud, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I'm handcuffed to this bed. Well, don't get all snippy with me. You just seem to be in some sort of pain. Ah, uh, I'm dying. I got an itch, and I can't get to it. You can't help me. Don't stand there. Ted, what is going on? Who's done this to you? I'm... <sighs> Unbelievable. You of all people, Ted, Mr. Perfect Man, with Professor Lockridge's woman? Well, they broke up. Did you hear? Well, what about Katrina, Ted? Did you two break up, well, too? It's a complicated story, Lil. Well, I've got all night, Ted, and by the looks of things, you're not going anywhere. Listen, 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 listen to me. <laughs> Lily, if, if, if we're friends, if, if our friendship ever meant any, anything in, uh, in the world at all to you, you will get me out of these handcuffs before Angela gets home, and I promise you, I will answer any question that you might have later, but just get me out now, please. But where's the key? She took it with her! She's got my clothes, too. Oh, Ted. I thought I'd gotten myself into some messes. Really? You must have gotten her very angry, Ted, because these are police regulations. Oh, is that a fact? And how would yes. you know that? I didn't know she was mad at me. I thought she was joking. Just spare me, okay? Just spare me. Let's just leave it at the fact that maybe you're a little bit more kinky than I had oh, given you credit break. for. Oh, are they pickable? What do you assume? Just because I lived in Vegas that I'm some sort of crime mall, Ted? No, they're not pickable. I'm going to have to call the police officer. No, you. you're not going to... Call the police. You're going to ruin my life if you call the police. Will you stop being so melodramatic? Really, Ted? I mean, what we need now is just some, some sort of logic here. 
good healthy dose of it. Yeah, okay, some logic. Why don't you just get up and out of here and find something to pick these locks? Just go down to find anything. Good idea. Good. Really? Just unbelievable humiliation is somebody coming and seeing your under you and your underwear and you're hanging from a bedpost. God. I just learned to keep my hands in my own pockets. I've, I've been so stupid. Dad, I think I found something. Oh, Lil, you are an angel. Really, I can't believe you've been sneaking around with Angela Cassidy. What an idiot I was. This has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's yet. a real statement on my judgment of character. Oh. Yes, it does. I used to have you up on some sort of a pedestal. Well, when it comes to love, men have been known to do really strange things. Don't make me laugh, please. Isn't lust more the word you're looking for? You can try to fool Katrina. Don't try it with me. Not hey, after now, wait what... a minute. You have to promise me that you're not going to say a word of this to Katrina. Ted, I don't have to promise you anything. Well, look at me. Look what I'm wearing. <laughs> what? Well, it's not your color. Oh, that's very funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm laughing. I, it's hilarious. I see the total abject humiliation. It, it doesn't do anything for you. Huh? It's very funny. Would you just find me something to wear? I really, I don't know why I should. Well, because you rescued me, and you're responsible for me. <laughs> 